G'day, it's Robbie here again. Well, lately I've been reviewing drills, and these are some cobalt ones that I got from Banggood. They've been really good, top product, and uh, yeah, couldn't recommend these highly enough. And these are incremental sets, but they increments of 0.5 of a millimeter, so 6.56, 5.55 through the whole range. So the incre increments are all 0.5. Quite often that would do what you want, um, but not always. And increments aren't always in those steps anyway. I've got some drills here, and these are incremented in all sorts of different steps. Why? Why, you know, why aren't these in 0.5s why well, I got 0.5s, then 0.3s, and jump all over the place. 0.2, because these are actually in metric versions of imperial sizes. So that's another form that you can take. But regardless of which form you've got, and these are the most common sorts of increments you're going to have in sets, the problem is that your drills are always going to be slightly smaller than what the label says anyway and you know, really have to mic, mic them up to be sure you know what, your, what you've got and of course you know it's going to drill a bit bigger when it makes the hole so you know it's a bit of a lottery of all this anyway if you're doing really fine work particularly in smaller sizes this is where the 0.5 increments are really way too big you often have to go for something a lot smaller as far as increments. And the classic case is you might want to, say, bore out a, a shaft like that. Now, here, here's a classic case where I want to drill that out to take this, this bolt, and it's got to be a, a dead snug fit and it won't quite go through. And I try to get the boring bar, the micro boring bars into it, and it's just not long enough to do it. So there's a, I could get it <laughs> both ends, but there's a bit in the middle. Now, if I try and use any of these step drills or these step drills, they just won't do the job. This has got to be an absolutely snug fit. It's a pivot point. So this is where the set of drills that I'm reviewing today comes in. The increments aren't 0.5, the increments are 0.1 of a millimetre. And Bangor have sent me these. And I, they come in two kits. You can have the uh, 6 mil to 1 mil in 0.1 mil increments, or you can have the larger sizes down to 6 mil in 0.1. But where the, the, where the variations are most um, useful was in the smaller sizes so if you're going to buy a set of 0.1 incremental drills go for the sixes to ones because that way you're going to get a lot more use out of them and the percentage difference of 0.1 in say a, a 2 mil drill is going to be massively larger than in say a 6 mil drill where 0.1 of a difference isn't going to be anywhere near as large in percentage terms. So you can see where I'm heading with this. So okay, let's have a look at the uh, the set of drills they've sent me. Here's a couple of screen grabs first. You can have a look at what's in the box, what should be in the tin, and uh, we'll get on with it. Okay, here they be. So I'll get the little baggins magic knife again. Open it up. Okay, so let's open her up, see what's inside. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. 
about the usual sort of tin that these things come in. And there they are, in all their magic glory. Now, as you can see, the steps are all point one. So this is going to be fantastic for, say, this job here where I can just size, go through the drills and get one that just slides in and then I can just basically open it out with, uh, with that one in the middle where it's a bit tight or I can go the next size. Either way, you've got those very, very tiny increments you can work on. Now, as I said, the other drills that you buy, they're all undersized as far as uh, what's on the label, what the label says. That's the way they make them. Now, with these, I don't know if these are absolute sizes or they're also slightly undersized. I would expect that to be absolute, but... I can't say I'm going to have to take one out and take a few out and measure them and just see what they're mic up at. Uh, but overall, they look to be the same sort of finish as the other cobalt drills I've got. But uh, yeah, nice and sharp. They appear to be okay. Let's mic a couple and just see what they are like as far as measurement. Now, going on previous experience with 0.1 incremental drills, I would expect these to be the nominal size, right on the money. And measured on the flutes, where you should be measuring them, that's exactly the case. This is five, a uh, five mil drill, 5.002. You can't get any better than that. Let's measure a few more. So here's a two mil, two point. 003 dead on the money once again and here's a 3.2 mil drill 3.214 so you can see they're pretty pretty damn good uh, I think that's about as good as you could expect certainly for this sort of money and uh, yeah what you see in the label is what you get in the tin. Let's move on. Looking at the finish and the sharpness, they're all pretty well green. I can't see much wrong with them. They look good to me. And they're all sharp as a razor. The same as the previous cobalt drills I've reviewed. They were all extremely sharp. I think they're slightly better than the high-speed steel drills I got from um, Banggood earlier. The cobalt range is really pretty damn good. So yeah, as far as um, quality, I think quality's there. It's interesting too when you measure these that you have to measure them on the flutes. If you measure on the on the shank, you'll find the shank is slightly smaller than the measurement you'll get on the flutes. So, yeah, you can't reliably measure on the... I mean, it's the lazy way of doing it, I know. We all do it. But if you want to get a, an accurate measurement, always measure on the flutes. And in this case, yes, there is a difference, for sure. OK. Moving right along. So we want to tap a thread. We want to tap one of these metric threads. We look at our chart to see what size drill we need for tapping whatever size you want and this is for 75 percent depth of thread which is what you would normally find in these charts you can match them by eye as i've shown in a video way back which is what a lot of mechanics do my old man did that he was a mechanic all his life and it's really no different to the results you get using these tables because you always cite them to be about you know 75 percent depth of thread it's no difference really you know people get upset about oh you should be using tables well who says your drills the right size and you know at the end of the day it's the same thing really and in some with some metals if you want to say tap a thread in cast iron you want to go more than 75 percent thread depth you want to go as tight as you can get it because cast iron Yep, you want a nice snug fit with cast iron for sure. Anyway, I'm diverging. So, we look at the table. What's immediately obvious? 
Well, look at the steps. Look at the steps. There are all these odd numbers. Well, the steps are going to be odd numbers, but there's evens and odds, and, and they're not close to what the steps are in most incremental drills. I mean, you know, if you've got 0.5 of a millimetre increment, how the hell are you going to get a 7.1? How are, you, how are you going to get an 8.7? It's just not going to happen. They're all going to be a bit too small or a bit too big. 8.9, yeah, you've got to hope that's pretty good. 1.1, no, that's not going to happen. 10.5, well, you'll be a bit under, but that's okay. 10.7, no, you won't have a 10.7. You're going to be 10.9 or something like this. So you can see what I'm getting at, that this is where... 0.1 increments are very, very handy for, for tapping threads because, yeah, how else are you going to get close to the, the so-called wonderful figures that, you know, a lot of people rave about, you know, oh, you've got to use the tables, but yeah, fine, that's so fine if you've got the drills, but if you haven't got the drills and the right increments, you're stuffed. So, you know, all you can do is mic up what you've got most times and, you know, if you've got hundreds of drills like me, you'll find one that's close to the to the measurement. And, I mean, these are absolute measurements. That's that's not drill size. That's absolute measurement, you know. So if a drill, say, 6 mil, well, you know it's going to be 5.98 or something like that. But this is the absolute measurement. So there you go. That's another reason for using 0.1 uh, mil increments. You're always going to get a close a close fit then. Okay, moving on. Here's a good example of how drill sizing using 0.1 increments can be really beneficial. In this case, I want to drill and tap a 6 mil hole metric into this union so I can thread this in and use it as a control valve for a steam engine. Pretty simple setup. So let's have a look at the drill size we need for 6 mil metric. And for 6 mil, we need 5.2 mil drill. Now, if you're going into your 0.5 increments, well, you're way off. You're not going to be doing uh, 5, and it'll be too small, and you won't be doing 5.5. That'll be too big. Now, we can measure the 5.5 and see what that measures up at, but the the drill size is supposed to be 5.2. So can we use the 0.5 increment standard drill set that we've got in, in high speed steel? I mic it up and the 5.5, we know it's going to drill, be smaller than what's on the tin. It's 5.4. It's nowhere near small enough to be 5.2. We know that if we measure up the 5 mil, it's going to be 4.98 or something like that, so it's going to be smaller again. So the, four, the 0.5 increments are going to be no good whatsoever for this job. You're going to have to use the 0.1 increments to get what you want, to get close to what you want. So let's do it. And this is the 5.2 drill. So you can see they're, they're right on the money. So they are actually uh, pretty much nominal size. So this is, you know, this is good. So we'll go with that. I drilled a taper in with a smaller diameter drill so that the so that this tip can seat in. So that should now screw in. And it does. Perfect. So I hope that's opened your eyes up as to why 0.1 increment drills are so good. Yeah, 0.5 increments are handy. They're the, you know, average Joe's drill. And they'll do most things. But if you want to do fine precision work and you want to get as close to the required measurement as possible, you want to get the snuggest fit you can get for your pivot points. You want to just be able to creep up, sneak up on the on the on on the bore size, and just work your way up to it. 
these are what you need. I've never had a full set before, I've just bought them as I need them for specialist jobs. And I think for the money they're pretty damn good. They certainly work okay, I've used them a couple of times, no complaints whatsoever. So there you go, I hope you found it that useful and interesting. I always try to do more than just review the product, I try and show you why it may be a good thing to get. Now the the web page for this item, the link is in the video description. So yeah, if you're interested, think maybe a set of these would be good for Christmas, go and have a look and uh, as I said there's two there's two size ranges. The smaller one with more drills I think is the way to go, but it's up to you. Okay, that's it from me. See you next time. Cheers.